What if I told you that there is a little Atlantis right here in our very own state of Texas, a town that once basked in the sunlight but is now doomed to spend eternity in the cold, watery depths of oblivion? In fact, there is. Today, we'll be taking a look at a unique Texas lake that hides a historical secret, lurking in the deep, watery depths beneath its surface. Indeed, beneath the calm waves of this beautiful and unassuming lake lie the underwater ruins of a small city that was founded even before the Civil War, but was later lost beneath the waves nearly a century ago. Welcome to the sunken ghost town of Bluffton, Texas. My name is Mauricio, and I'm an explorer and adventurer. If you'd like to join me as I explore the abandoned, historical, and natural hidden wonders that the United States has to offer, feel free to subscribe to my channel. But prepare to buckle up. This is going to be a wild ride. Meet Lake Buchanan, Texas. This lake and its surroundings are known for their natural beauty, featuring majestic cliffs and waterfalls, endless fishing and boating opportunities, and even spectacular scenic river cruises offered by the local Vanishing Texas River Cruises business. But below the lake's beautiful idyllic surface also hides a dark watery secret. There is an entire ghost town sitting at the bottom of the lake. Founded on dry land in 1852, this settlement, known as Bluffton, Texas, was one of the first towns ever founded in Texas Hill Country. Its post office was established in 1873, and by 1883, Bluffton was a lively town supporting many businesses with hotels, saloons, and a cotton gin. Things were looking up for this modest but growing settlement. However, things began to change in the 1930s when President Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal was pushed into effect. One of the projects that came along with the New Deal was Buchanan Dam, bringing electricity to the Hill Country. With progress, however, came sacrifice. The dam's completion effectively doomed the town of Bluffton, and families here had to begin preparing for the slow but inevitable rise of the water levels, which would gradually consume their homes, their town, and their very way of life. This was a difficult time for the residents of Bluffton. Many residents who were already hit hard by the Great Depression had to sell their land at rock bottom prices to the government, and those who would not sell saw their lands condemned and commandeered by the Llano County County River Authority. After the dam was completed in 1937, officials thought that it would take years for the lake to form, but flooding and rainfall in excess of 20 inches caused the waters to rise to capacity in mere months. Some residents weren't able to completely vacate themselves from the area before the waters consumed Bluffton, halting all activity there for good, and freezing its remaining ruins in time at the muddy lake bottom. To the local residents, it must have seemed like their beloved town of Bluffton was now gone forever. However, in 2009, an exceptionally severe drought dropped water levels of the lake to 26 feet, exposing long-lost tombstones and graveyards, the remains of a cotton gin, homes, a local bank, a hotel, and even a baseball field. Old Bluffton has re-emerged along with a cemetery that hasn't been seen in almost a century. And this is the foundation of the very first home in Bluffton established by Alfred's great-great-great-grandfather, foundation remains typically covered by 20 plus feet of water even the cistern in the back of the house still is here sinking into the deep the town would re-emerge seven times due to extreme drought each time revealing new ruins and artifacts this is the grave of johnny parks he was just a year old when he passed away and now that the water level is so low here on lake buchanan you can see his tombstone for the first time since the 1930s. Many artifacts were also found, including old medicine bottles, parts of a desk from the school, and charcoal filtering systems in cisterns for water. Of course, the town's re-emergence was only temporary, and after the water levels gradually returned to normal, the physical ruins of Old Bluffton sank right back into the watery depths that they had risen from, fading away like a surreal, fantastic dream. However, the unveiling of the old town of Bluffton during the drought compelled the people of Texas Hill Country to examine a lost way of life. People now began to give more attention to the remarkable story of this place, and a small handful of previous residents of Bluffton, now elderly, were even able to return during the drought to visit what few ruins remained of the home that they had once loved and lost, their very own Atlantis of Central Texas. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Explore to see if you're enjoying my content as well as clicking on the notification bell to be notified of any future videos that I produce. I'll see you on the next one.